Hi right, there, y'all. So today we're going to be playing Torque Drift. As you can see, we have a uh, 69 Ford Mustang. It's a pretty sweet car with absolutely gigantor exhaust pipes, but yeah. Uh, I apologize for the poor mic quality. Um, I'm going to try and get that sorted here. But um, this is a completely stock car. There is nothing. I haven't put a thing on it yet, so this is going to be a complete from scratch build. And um, yeah. So I'm starting in rookie three, but the, so I sh I'll have up to rookie three parts, up to rookie parts, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna get going now. We're just gonna start with uh, crates. This is gonna be a mainly crate build, I think. Uh, I'm really poor because I just bought this car because I wanted it. But Eleven sponsor crates and two torque drift crates. So first torque crate. Get some gold. Oh, nice, nice coilovers. Sweet. Neons we can sell for gold. What do we got here? Sweet. Oh, we're getting some good stuff right now. Okay, for a sponsor crate. Nexons, Acceleras, just a couple of tires. Same thing. I really hope these aren't just all tires. Oh, here we go. We got some brakes and some tires. <laughs> well, we're gonna be able to put some decent power through it. Through the, the uh, another set of coilovers. Don't need those. Those will get sold. Mishimoto intercooler. That'll be nice. Some more cash. Cost of brake knuckles times two. Five left. Cash and gold. I'll take that. Uh, better brakes. Nice. Okay. Hopefully we get a little bit better stuff. More brake knuckles. Nice. That's ah, nice. There we go. Sweet. Forged LS1. That'll be nice. More tires. We'll have a whole assortment of tires for this car. Nice. Cold air intake and a quick change diff. Okay. Whoops. I accidentally clicked back too far, but now we're going to go ahead and uh, get this car started on the build. 12 new parts to go on it. This is going to be sweet. Starting with the intercooler. Get that Mishimoto in there. So we can get that supercharger on there that is super nice just a starting off with a massive supercharger that's insane nice forged ls1 get that cold air intake hopefully we can get an air charger coming up here pretty soon get those new rims on there because they look sick oh nice wow yeah that's all right We'll probably get the rubber bands off of there and put some thicker tires on because that looks kind of disgusting, but I'm not a big fan of the gold, not going to lie. I'm not entirely a big fan of the gold, but we'll leave them on there just because they are better. Get those kind of shitty brake knuckles on there. Or base knuckles, I've been saying it wrong the entire time. Get this on here. Let's go ahead and get... Yeah, we'll leave that like it is right here. Yeah. Okay, suspension, let's get those insanely good coilovers on here. Hell yeah. There we go. We'll tune it all up after. Right now we're not going to worry about tuning. Get those coilovers on. Get the base knuckles on the front here. Oops. What should we put on there? Which is better? Definitely these. Definitely this. There we go. Uh, angle kit. There we go. Get them base knuckles on. That is... Sell this. Fortune 500 coilovers. Let's go ahead and sell these neons. Neons are just kind of pointless. They don't really look good. Any Like, yeah. They just kind of look like crap. So, we're just going to sell those. Get the rear alloys switched over. 
I wish they were black. They would look so much better black. Jack up the width. There we go. Hold about that. So for any of you guys that don't know, this game recently came out on Steam. It's $18 on Steam and it's free on your phone. So this is a phone game as well, but uh, it's a lot better on Steam, I think. I wish I didn't have to go right at the 30s on the profile, but whatever. Same width in the absolute same width in the rear. I think we'll have to lift the back end because that's kind of looking stupid. Those really massive back tires on. Let's go ahead and I you're like, oh man, that's too low. <laughs> Jack that way up so that I can oh man, that's bad. That's bad, and I can't even really give this much camber either to try and get some good fitment going. <laughs> I can make it smaller. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Oh, that'll do. That's kind of shitty. I think I'm just going to make the rims a little wider, or a little less wide. Or, oops, wrong thing. Yeah, we'll go pull them into nine and a half. <laughs> okay. That looks quite a bit better. I'm excited to see how this thing's going to drive, because this will be the first time I drive it. I haven't even driven it stock yet, so this is like the first time it's being driven by me at all. Okay, that's good to go. Let's go ahead and see if we can turn up this... Oh yeah, jacket. So we were making 364 horse stock. Let's see what we can make. We're going to go to... Uh, or we're not going to do multiplayer right now. We'll go to the slab. It's a pretty fun track. The yard's one of my favorites. It's probably my favorite. But. <sighs> Man, 605 horsepower on basically free parts. Thing is slow as fuck. Not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to drive, and it's really loud. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to drive. I feel like it's gripping up too much. I should put some get some grip out of it. It's a good thing I didn't stick with those really really wide rear tires because it's hard to keep these ones sideways. See if it... Okay, we'll try that again, because that was really sad. We're just going to try that again. That was sad, and I'm hoping that maybe second gear it will like better. No, it really just doesn't like drifting at all. It does not like to hold angle. No, this is not fun to drive right now. I'm gonna have to... Oh man. I mean, not gonna lie, I'm not the greatest driver. I'm, like, I'm certainly not the greatest. But this car is not easy to drive. Then again, I'm used to driving an extremely dialed car, so... I'm gonna have to try and pull some grip out. You're probably thinking, like, what? <laughs> you're not even getting grip, you're running really shitty tires. That 
should give us a little bit less grip. And then in the front, what are we getting for grip? Probably really confused at why that's the, how that's set, but that's just how I like it set. I usually set my tires really hard in the front and really soft in the back, which may seem backwards, but trust me, it's it's not. It feels way better going hard in the front, soft in the back. That feels better. You know that feels like that actually feels a lot better. This V8 just isn't producing the high RPMs that I'm used to driving. Because I mean I run. Oh, what is it? I don't. That's a rotary in my S15, which is my competition car. My S15 is the competition car, and I run a rotary engine in it, which produces super high RPM, and it, it's really easy to drive. You could be completely retarded and drive that car just fine. This car, on the other hand, you definitely need some skill for it because it doesn't like to. It, yeah, it's not. It's not fun to drive. I mean, then again, it's also not a thousand horsepower beast like that other car. But well, that'll probably it be it. Um, well, I'll show you guys the S15 right quick. Oh, yeah, okay. So this is my S15. This thing is an absolute monster. Super easy to drive, sorry about the dogs in the background. Yeah, you, you can be not very smart and just be able to drive this car flawlessly. This thing will even run in fifth gear just fine. But if I was a better driver, I would uh, show it off more. But I'm not. But yeah, there's the, the video for today. Just a little build on the uh, '69 Ford Mustang, and I'll probably be back in another day or two with another video once I have quite a few more crates to put in it. Thank you for watching, and I will uh, see you guys next time.